ready to start putting the railings in between the old railings to bring it up to code so that kids don't fall through, which is probably a good thing. That's looking good. A lot safer. Still have the couple on the ends that I need to do. Those have some angles on them, so they're going to take a little bit more time. But making progress. So I'm working on measuring this glue lamb out, and I'm double, triple, triple, quadruple checking it because it's you know nineteen dollars a foot at uh, eighteen feet, and uh, I couldn't figure it out. My measurements kept coming off. <laughs> I, I don't know, I just couldn't see this with my naked eye until I put a level in and realized that, I don't know if you can see it on camera here, it's a, an inch off from top to bottom with what the cut is. It's at an angle. Probably people who've worked with glue lamps a lot experience this all the time, I never have. I thought it'd just be really square in. So I just have to square that up. It's not a big deal, but it was throwing me off for a few minutes. Put that in the wall and no one will ever know. <laughs> Alright, you mind helping me flip this again? One, two, three. Go. 
right here by my fingers. Oh, did you smash it? Nope. There, that's better. One, two, three. On the engineering plans, this looked really easy peasy, but uh, there's all these bolts in the way, and so having to chisel out a little bit out of the beams. It's going to be hidden behind sheetrock here, and uh, we're not going to see it. It doesn't have to be pretty back there, but it just has to be done. Pretty good. This is actually just the right width too. Yeah. Or length. Pretty excited. Charlie has started drilling the well here. Our schedules haven't been meeting up, but it doesn't look like he's gotten too far. Just the upper casing, but uh, excited that he's getting some stuff done on it at least. Should be a few more days before it's done. Growing up in this area, I thought there'd be certain uh, contractors I would use and people I'd work with, but I decided just to go ahead and do three bids on everything. And I'm really glad I have. Uh, there was and some companies, yeah, like the first one of the other companies, the drill companies were more responsive um, than Charlie. He's really busy and takes the time to get back to you. But uh, they wanted it on the other side. Their equipment's a lot bigger. 
This guy has older equipment and a smaller truck. He's got a bigger truck too, but uh, it's uh, we're not going to have to cut down as as many trees. It's a fair deal, um, and I think I've always, when I've contracted it out, I've gotten a better deal or better information when I've gone with at least three contractors that I've put a bid out for every project. So, just a good idea, I think. Some sort of critter over there in the bushes. Got some sawdust over there, but this is certainly looking a lot better. A lot of work up above, but the beam on this front porch is looking a lot better too. See all that dust and sanding. Making progress. Dam evidently opened up because we have about Three more feet of beach today, all opening up along the river. That's nice. <laughs> 